Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is a different video. It's not cards, it's figures. Um, this is the Bandai World Collection Series uh, Paldea Part 2. And the reason I got this is because of my uh, obsession with this little guy here. Um, these are the previous ones I did a video on, which were the, um, the Tommy Moncol of Chocodet and of Armour Rouge and of Seraledge, who looks like that one. So I'm going to be doing a comparison between Tomy's figures and Bandai's figures, which are scale figures. So we will um, put these three here. And we will get into this, which has just arrived. So let's get it open. Um, oh, bear with me. It's one of these ones. Right, OK, let me just get from it. I don't want to damage the box, obviously. Um, well, there we go. OK, a little bit of a crease, but that'll iron out. Um, right, so in here, what have we got? We have got six of these. Okay, one, two. Let's get these out. We'll look at the outside of the box once I've got these out. So, so the outside of the box, all in Japanese, um, shows you what figures we're going to be getting in here. And... Uh, I guess this is a collection of all the ones released so far. I haven't got any of the other ones. Um, I'd like that one. I'd like that one. Um, those are probably special ones. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to get addicted to completing yet another. So I have nowhere to store any more figures. I have so many collections of Pokemon figures. Um, right. So let's see which one we're going to look at first. We will look at this little one first. Um, how are they sealed? Jeez, I am not going to, oh, I've got to tear it open. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I like to keep things in boxes, but oh well, needs must. We will, we will try and, hmm, I don't really want to tear it. Oh, they don't have to make it difficult for the mint in box collectors. I'm not going to keep them sealed. Oh, goodness me, it's just it's just loose in there. Okay. It's a very big box for a very small amount of stuff. That's all we've got. So I think it's just the little character, whoever this guy is. I don't know who that is. I suppose it's us in the game. Um, and they're sealed in bags. We are going to cut them out because, yes, I could I could keep them mint and sealed, but I've opened the box now, so we are going to cut them out of there because that's the whole point of me doing the video. Um, well, he probably needs a stand right now. Um, what, is, what is this little, is this a sweet or something? I don't know what that is. I'm going to leave that because I don't know what it is. It's probably something Japanese, some candy or something. Um, how does this work? I don't know how this works. I think his feet are supposed to... It doesn't... can't be that way. I don't know. That doesn't seem to fit. Something like that. No, I'll do that. Okay, that's one done. This is going to take a little while. I didn't expect this to be a long video. I thought it was going to, they were just going to be in here and I could just pull them out. Right, next box is uh, Pour Me, Smoliv, and Wiglet. Is there another of these sweets in here? Yeah, there's another of these things. I'm, I am not eating some random something. 
don't, I don't care what they are or what they taste like. I'm not. I want an ingredients. Doesn't even. I have told you Japanese. There's no way I'm eating those. So these are in three little compartments. This one. So we will uh, liberate them all from the plastic bag. I didn't realise Wiglet was so much bigger. Hey, oy. There we go. So that's our wiglet. They're actually really well done. I mean, they're a little bit like my Zucans. They're well painted, matte finish. Yeah, okay, so there's a wiglet. But the adorable little poor me. I'm a very big fan of this little creature. I remember when I got my shiny, I was very pleased. My first shiny. Um, and then we've got a small live here, which has a little stand already clicked into the stand. So, yeah. Very nice. Okay. Didn't realise they'd be doing hand modelling today. I haven't cut my nails. Um, right, so the next one we're going to look at is this one, which is Golden Go and uh, or Golden Go, whichever way you want to pronounce it, and Gimme Go. So, uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, very shiny. There's another sweetie in there. I am not touching that. Um, this is a some more. Uh, impressive larger fi figure collection than the, the wiglet so there we go and this has got a metal finish very nice very very nice and he's got a stand which hmm I'm not totally sure how that works it's not going to be from the front um Slot it in. I don't know. Doesn't seem to want to fit. I don't know how we do that. Because those don't correlate. Well, they, I suppose they do. But it's getting that bit in the middle. Can't be upside down. No, it can't be. It has to be that way. How the hell do you get that? I don't want to damage it by forcing it, but... That makes no sense. Okay, I will do that after the, the video. He's not going to stand up. Um, nope. We're going to have to leave him at the back, leaning against the box, because, well, no, because we're going to move the box. I can't figure out how to do that, but here is the Gimme Ghoul. Very cute. Very small. But this defies... Oh, goodness, that doesn't stand up either. It's too heavy on the top. Is there a stand for that? Well, I would give that a poor mark for the fact that you can't... You're going to have to put some blue tack or something underneath because the lid is too heavy for the thing to stand up. So that's not good, and this is not good because maybe if I swivel it in from... Uh, yeah, I don't really want to damage it. I just don't see how you get this, this middle bar in between. There's not a lot of room for that to happen. They could have made that much thinner. Uh, it doesn't need to have the stand, you know, so chunky up the leg. So I'm giving that a... Uh, a fail as well. I will have to deal with that later. So we'll start. This is not a good video, is it? No, it doesn't matter. I am doing it for me. Right, let's do this one. This is the Char Cadet, hopefully. Um. Mm -hmm. Another sweetie. Like that. 
Um, oh, okay, this has got more than more than chocolate. Obviously, it's got whooper. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we'll have a little look. We've got the Paldean whooper in here. So there's a whole selection of little pouches in this plastic bag. But okay, um, put those over there. Come on. Right, so there's so some stands. And, oh, there's a Tatsugiri at the end here. Just one of the forms. It's a bit sad, they could have done all the different ones, but. Right, we'll start with the Tatsugiri. Tiny little thing. Goodness me. Looks a bit angry. So Tatsugiri, fine, that works. You can lean against, no, you can't. It's just gonna, I'm gonna have to use blue tack to stick it down. Um, we've got this, oh, absolutely adorable. Really nicely painted Paldean Whooper. Um, the Pokemon logo on the back of its head. And it's got this stand, will it fit in that? Yes, it will. This one, this one, this one works, it just cl clicks very firmly into that stand. I didn't lose a stand for the Goldengo, did I? No. I don't know, that's... The Gimme Go, rather, not the Goldengo. Okay, so this is, this is the Char Cadet. There's no indication which way round this Okay, there is, there's, if it was that way, yeah, I think it's got to be that way. Yes, um, ugh, I don't want to break it. I think, I think, it's even got the little tiny circles on the bottom of the feet, correct? There's a lot of attention to detail. If it went that way, that's just going to fall over, so maybe it's the other way. Maybe I've just forced it the wrong way into the... Ah. Let's try it the other way. See if his centre of gravity is better this way, so... Um. Hmm, it's not. This is fiddle. This is fiddle. Maybe that... Ah, right, okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I think. Hopefully that'll stand up. Yes, it will. Okay, that works. Those two work. The Smoliv worked. Um, Tatsugiri worked. <sighs> this should have a stand because it will not stand up on its own. And this one, let's see if we can force it again. Give it another try. Okay, I push, push that in between there and it's not gonna go. Seriously, how the hell is that supposed to? Can't be the other way up. Can't be forward, can't be. It has to be that. It has to be that, and it is not prepared to. <laughs> it's designed for, oh God, maybe I've done it. Maybe I've done it. Just about, yes, maybe. Oh, jeepers. Not exactly right, but that'll do. But that still doesn't explain how you stop this thing from falling backwards on its. Right, so moving on, we are going to go to Armor Rouge. No, Sarah Ledge. Sarah Ledge on this one. So we're looking for this. Hopefully, it'll also have plastic stand, but this time, hopefully, it'll fit. Well, this has come in a more severe bit of plastic. Um, I'll just rip it open. I'm not going to... Oh, no. Get the scissors. Hang on. Off camera, sorry. I'm just cutting it open with scissors. Looks like I have to assemble it. It's, uh, the arms are separate. So, let's check I'm not missing anything. That's going to... 
like my coffin. Yeek. Right. It's wrapped up in plastic. And how is it? Goodness, is he expected to stand on his feet? Crazy. Oh, no, there is a stand. There is a stand. It's just difficult to get it out. All right. There we go. So all of that over there. There you go. Um, put the stand first. And then we will... I didn't notice which arm was which. Um... Are they different? Mm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. See if we can fit one in. If it doesn't fit in this side, I'll fit it in the other side. So, um, yeah, I think that works. So, there we go. Right, what do we, this is the main reason we got these, so. Um, I think that's actually very nice. Let's just compare it against the, the Tomy. It's obviously much bigger because of the scale. It's funny how it's bigger and Charcadet is smaller, which is correct, of course. That's why I like scale figures. So. Yeah, that's very good. Um, is it going to stand on the stand? Yes, it is. Right, and we'll finish with my favourite. Because I have I did originally like Saraledge more, but I think I've grown to like Armour Rouge a little bit more. Uh, there's Sweetie in there, we don't want the Sweetie. Right, what have we got? We've got uh, this, so we'll just cut it out. I don't think I have to assemble this one. Uh, This is what we get in there. And and yeah, it's all self-assembled. No stands needed because he's got the blockier feet. Hope his centre of gravity is... Yep, yeah, he's right. So that is a comparison with the Tomy, which is... The Tomy was very nice, but this is... This is very impressive. Very well painted. I like the matte finish of the paints. Really, really nice. So that is the collection. Uh, the only problem one is this golden um, gimme ghoul, which is not is never going to stand up. Never in a million years. It's going to have to lie on its back. So let me just move the rubbish out of the way. We will bring the camera in and down and uh, have a little look at them as an assembled group. So uh, put the little trainer in the middle there and uh, do, do, do. do little Tatsugiri there, Smoliv, Padayan Wooper, and this little bugger who is not, is not going to, he didn't even, yeah, okay, if I lean him just in the back there, he will work. So there are our figures, and what do I give it as a, well, there was a little bit of problem with the stands, uh, they didn't, they weren't thought out very well, I think they're too tight. Um, too chunky perhaps and obviously the uh, gimme ghoul is a problem but on the whole I'm very pleased to have them now I've got to find somewhere to put them I may I may just put them back in their boxes and put them away in the storeroom but um, it's a nice little set okay that's today's video